hello guys uh, in this video uh, we will do this question uh, you can see the circuit this is a multi stage op amp circuit having three op amps okay so this question uh, normally asked in uh, two ways the first type is prove that the below multi stage op amp circuit is a summing amplifier okay it means that you have to uh, so that this is a summing amplifier meant v out will be uh, v1 plus v2 plus v3 means v out is directly proportional to v1 plus v2 plus v3 the proportionality constant will depends on whether uh, means amplifier two times it will amplify the output three times or four times it uh, the output will tell final output will tell also sometimes the, this question is asked find the relation between v1 v2 v3 and v out okay so this is the question uh, variation in the question so let's do it and before starting please like and subscribe my channel okay so let's start so uh, i have specified the nodes a b c d e f so if you have seen my previous video so you already know i always uh, rely on nodal analysis for the analysis of open because it's it's the most reliable analysis and it will never give you the means there is a less uh, possibility of the error okay so let's do it so uh, first uh, as we need to calculate the v out okay means we need to find the relationship between v out v1 and v2 and v3 so we need to calculate the v out so we need this v out in terms of v1 v2 and v3 so we will start from the first first stage okay so this is your first stage this is your second stage this is your third stage of the multi stage amplifier so we will start with the first stage always start by uh, irrespective of the how many op amps are connected always start with the first stage okay because first stage is giving you input so uh, preceding stage uh, stage will give you uh, output as per the input okay so v2 v3 okay this is the a so i have taken a as node okay so first uh, let's take the nodal analysis applying nodal analysis at node a okay so this having a is having many branches okay this node a is having many branches one two three three branches are there so a so i'm considering all the currents are outgoing so this is outgoing this is outgoing and this is also outgoing for each node i will consider this one and accordingly i will apply the nodal analysis so va minus v2 divided by 20k so you can see first term va minus v2 divided by 20k va minus v3 divided by 20k va minus v3 divided by 20k plus va minus vb okay this branch vb i have taken this term uh, this node as b okay so va minus vb okay this will also be b so va minus vb divided by 10k okay is equals to zero the summation of, summation of all outgoing currents is equals to zero now due to virtual ground due to virtual ground between non-inverting and inverting terminal va will be zero so i have put the value zero so zero minus v2 divided by 20k zero minus v1 divided by 20k zero minus vb divided by 20, 10k is equals to zero when we solve it so we will get minus v2 divided by 20k minus v3 divided by 20k minus vb divided by 20 uh, 10k is equals to zero so you can take the lcm of all these or you can simply solve it okay so this will become minus v3 okay minus uh, sorry minus v2 minus v3 minus 2 vb okay because here is 10k so it will become minus 2 vb divided by 20k is equals to zero so then 2b this 2b will become minus v1 minus v2 minus v3 okay so this is your expression number one 2 vb is equals to minus v2 minus v3 okay so this is our expression number one okay so we have calculated the value of vb okay we have this uh, uh, value at this point vb so let's uh, proceed we will get the uh, we will try to find the value of c okay so apply nodal analysis at node c so uh, if you want to apply the potential divider you can apply the potential divider then directly you can get the value of vc okay if you are confident with the potential divider okay but uh, as i already told you um, uh, that uh, i always rely on nodal analysis so i will do the nodal analysis so i am applying nodal analysis at node c okay so both the i am considering them both the currents are outgoing both the branches uh, node c have only two branches 
uh, so both the trends are outgoing so vc minus vb divided by 10k so this is vc minus vb divided by 10k vc minus 0 this is a ground so 0 so vc minus 0 divided by 20k when we will solve it so 2 vc minus vb plus vc okay because here is 10k here is 20k so that is equals to 0 when you solve it 2 uh, vc plus uh, this vc will become 3 vc minus 2 vb okay so this will be your expression now putting the value from equation 1 putting the value of 2 vb okay so we will replace this 2 vb value okay so 2 vb is equals to minus v2 minus v3 so here 3 vc minus in bracket minus v2 minus v3 okay so 3 vc this minus minus this minus minus will make it all the terms plus okay so when we take it other side so this will become 3 vc is equals to minus v2 plus v3 so this is our equation number 2 3 vc is equals to minus v2 plus v3 so we have now we have this terminal potential okay so due to virtual ground this vc will equals to this node vd value okay so let's do this one so we have this vc value so all obviously due to virtual ground we have this vd value so now we will apply the nodal analysis at node d okay because our target is to get v out so we need for v out we need ve and vf vf is zero so we need ve okay so by applying the nodal analysis we will able to get the value of ve potential at uh, node e okay so let's apply nodal analysis at node d so vd minus v1 divided by 10k okay so vd minus v1 divided by 10k vd minus ve divided by 20k so vd minus ve divided by 20k that is equals to zero and, and again considering outgoing currents okay all the branches the current is flowing in all the branches is outgoing now you will solve it so here 10k here 20k so this will become 2vd minus v1 because uh, denominator is having 10k plus 2vd minus v is equals to 0. So when you will solve it, you will get 3vd minus 2v1 minus ve. Okay. Okay. So due to virtual count, vc is equals to vd. So we can put, uh, we can consider it this vd is vc. So here 3vd minus 2v1 minus ve. So we have we can put the value of 3vd that is minus v2 plus v3 okay 3vc okay this 3vd is vc okay vc value i am putting 3vc uh, basically okay so 3vc value i am putting so minus v2 plus v3 now you will solve it so you will get ve is equals to minus v2 minus uh, v3 minus 2v1 so this is your expression for ve okay so ve is equals to equation number three okay so we put this equation number three although ve now you can see ve this ve is having all the terms v1 v2 and v3 so now we can apply uh, nodal analysis at node f and if you want to apply the no, uh, inverting formula you can also apply minus vf by uh, minus rf by r1 multiplied with input okay so you can also apply that formula but i will apply the nodal analysis so applying nodal analysis at node f okay so vf vf this node f because due to uh, no, uh, virtual ground this vf will have zero potential because here is zero so vf is zero you can see so vf minus ve divided by 10k again taking outgoing current okay so vf minus ve by 10k vf minus v out divided by 10k because both the resistances are 10k that is equal to zero so you will solve it both uh, denominator is having 10k so vf minus ve plus vf minus v out uh, is equals to zero okay so uh, put the value of vf so zero minus ve plus zero minus v out is equals to zero so v out is equals to minus ve okay minus ve now what we will do well, we will put the putting the value of ve from equation 3 okay so this is minus so v out is equals to minus and in uh, ve all the terms were minus so v out is equals to minus minus v2 minus v3 minus 2 v1 v1 
so v out is equals to all the terms will become plus v2 plus v3 plus 2 v1 so v out is equals to 2 v1 plus v2 plus v3 okay so this is your output now you can see uh, v out is the sum of uh, v1 plus v2 plus 3 uh, plus v3 the v1 is applied two times two times okay because you can see here is 20k and here is 10k that's why this will become 2v1 so i guys i i hope that you able to understand uh, this question although it was uh, looking nice the analysis was uh, sorry uh, although it was uh, looking tough but and the analysis also uh, looking tough but don't worry always follow the nodal analysis okay and do it step by step start from the input and reach to the output it, you will never get a wrong answer so i hope you able to understand this one so please like and subscribe my channel thank you for watching